So from the guard position with me on the bottom, right, bottom guard position, let's work a drill that helps us understand how to insert the hands for the front choke. Nathan's in my guard. And I start the drill by opening his gi a little bit with both hands. I want to make this loose so the drill that I do is reasonable. And then I hold the gi open with my left hand while the right hand goes palm up. And look what I do with my legs. I move his head and his body a little bit closer to me by keeping my feet crossed and drawing my knees in like this. See, it helps me reach the gi. If I just try to reach the gi here, it's hard. And an opponent, of course, who's fighting me would just put pressure on my stomach and stop me from sitting up. Then he would keep his neck and back straight. So I'm going to practice breaking his posture and balance down a little bit by not only holding the gi and opening it, but by pulling it in and then also retracting my knees to my elbows like this. And now look, it makes it easy for me to slide this hand up and just catch right here around the back of the neck. And I can make a loose grip. The second hand now goes underneath that hand. This arm is straight, right? It's not too loose and relaxed, it's straight to keep him at a reasonable distance. And maybe because it's straight, he doesn't see the second hand coming in. These are all the details of the choke. For the drill, we're not gonna worry about that as much because when we teach the choke, it's something else. But to get the dexterity of shooting the hands in in a smooth fashion, we would hold the collar and then shoot the second hand in. Now we're gonna take the top hand out. And look, we create a new top hand. So now we just shoot the hand that we just removed in to the other side. Boom. Take it out and shoot it in. 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 Notice how when I take the hand out, I may use the hand that remains to push the gi a little bit. You see right here next to his neck how I get the gi to move. That opens, right? If we can get a tight shot on this here. The gi is close to his neck, and when I do this, it opens it. And that's the space I need for my hand. See, it's right there. It fits nicely. So if the gi is tight, maybe you add this little dexterous movement in here to open the gi like that. And then I make room for the hand to shoot. And now this hand comes out, and I open the gi a little bit, and then shoot. And then I open and shoot. And you just repeat this for a set of 30, all right? That makes sense? Okay, let's go.